Hi there, Chad here from Chibi AI in the AI Content Dojo. In this video, I want to showcase the brand new dynamic context capability that just launched with the brand new Chibi that's a complete re-engineering, a reimagining of what an AI writing app should be. And this is it. This is what it looks like. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into a new document and I'm going to show you the dynamic context capability in a new document here. So let's pretend that we're going to write about Birdie, the revolutionary backyard bird feeder. If you have followed along with any of my previous videos, you'll know that that's a common fictitious product that I uh, use in a lot of my demos. And so the new dynamic context capability is basically this. It gives you the ability to add and remove any bits of context here that's in this context section that you want to. So previously you might've been sort of locked into something like a topic or an article brief or background description. Some each, each app out there calls it something different. You might also have some keywords and maybe tone of voice and, and things like that, but you're usually locked into maybe two, three or four fields and that's all you get. And they're set into a certain thing. So if it says topic, but then you're, you know, you're writing about a product, it's, it's a little not, it's disjointed, right? It's not really connected. Topic doesn't really make sense to think about for product description. So I'm gonna actually just go up here and change this to product description like that. So now we're properly labeling our context too. And this is very important because it actually helps give Chibi a, a better idea of what he needs to craft for you uh, based on that context that you set up. So with this uh, new capability, you can just continue to add more context as it's relevant for your needs. And so I'm gonna create another one here and we're gonna call this one product features. And I have some content ready to copy and paste in here. So it's squirrel proof. So, okay, if you don't know, Birdie is the revolutionary backyard bird feeder with an ultra HD 360 degree camera so that you never miss your feathered visitors again. Now, this is a product I use a lot in my demos. The product features, we just made up some things. It's squirrel proof, award-winning design, it's Wi-Fi 6, and it has a smartphone app. That's what we want to pass to Chibi to produce some content. Now, this is the context area, uh, where you, as you can see right here. And this is available to other parts of, of Chibi here in the tools, and then down here in the regular write buttons, write and finish. And that means that if I'm just doing the AI dance, you know, like writing content and then letting Chibi take over and finish my thoughts and finish my sentences and stuff for me, he'll actually see all this context as well. So it's pretty cool, but I'm gonna show you something even cooler. We're gonna go into tools and we're, gonna, and, we're and it's already in the copy uh, area. And what I wanna do is I wanna create some ADA copy. And if you'll notice, product description, product features are already filled in and we have three fields here. Now these are uh, three fields that are all dynamic too, just like on the or in the context area, the tools also have dynamic context. And so this is what, uh, like a set of three that Chibi feels like, if you fill these out, I'll probably do a pretty good job with Ada, but you know, you don't have to use it this way. If you don't wanna provide an audience, you don't have to, just take it out. And, or if you leave it empty, he won't use it too. And then we're just gonna run this tool with what we got. And we're hopefully gonna get some decent ADA copy out of that. Yep, there we go. You can see he's taking into account the features, Wi-Fi 6, smartphone app, that kind of stuff. Award-winning design again, that's pretty good. Um, you can observe your birds like never before. Got a call to action. And uh, yeah, pretty cool, right? But let's say that we do, or we should have an audience because we're probably targeting a specific audience for our copy. So let's just go ahead and say that we're, we're targeting, we're a luxury bird feeder. <laughs> so we're gonna target millionaire uh, Zen mansion owners. Cool. Okay, and then we're gonna just go ahead and remove this and we're gonna run this again. And now hopefully Chibi will see that and then write similar copy, but targeted more for millionaires and zen mansion owners let's see perfect for millionaires and mansion owners um okay beauty for the visitors backyard sanctuary that is yours that's pretty cool okay so he didn't really tie it in super closely but he is as you can tell 
he is seeing it and he is taking advantage of it. So let's just go a little wacky and let's add a location. Let's say there are millionaires and mansion owners are tropical beachfront, uh, beachfront resort <laughs> type people. Um, maybe they have great ocean views and stuff from their, their Zen mansion. And we're just kind of, I'm just kind of throwing this in there just to show that he will take advantage of these things. Now, not all this always makes sense, but I, I want to stress that this gives you the ability to provide what you need for, for your content goals. So you're not like forced to do something in a very specific way. And it even gives you room to kind of experiment and try different things to get some interesting results. So let's see, tropical beachfront resort. <laughs> so there we go. Um, I hope that you found this pretty interesting. I do want to show you one more thing before I close out this video. Uh, let's take this away. Let's say audience and location. Let's take those away for now so that this is empty. We have product description and product features. I'm going to go back to context and I'm going to add in uh, audience. Actually, I'll add in location and we'll say the tropical beachfront resort report. <laughs> Resort, resort. Got to learn how to type again. Okay, so we have topics set up in our context area. If I go into my tools and I go back to Ada, um, by default there's no location field, right? So, um, but in in this case for for my needs, I'm going to pretend that I want location in there. I don't really need audience, so I'm going to say location. And notice that right when I click away from this or hit tab, that Chibi knows that there's already a context set up in there, and just uses it. So he's assuming that since you set up the context in the context area already, you probably don't want to have to go back and copy and paste it in or type it all over again. And so he's assuming that since they're labeled the same, you probably want to reuse the same. You're free to change it, of course, but that's what he's going to do to try and make it easier and free to use these different tools and um, get more done more quickly. So. I hope you find that interesting. And if you have any questions, definitely jump in the Chibi community. I'll have a link in the description below. And until next time, take care.